Hello and welcome everyone to another StarCraft 2 England cast. I am Maddows and well, today I have got an awesome game. It is a best of three game and this is game one. It is between FXO Slavic, who is of course the orange Zerg in the lower left position in the top right, the red Zerg, Shanzi. Shanzi, of course, another great player and this is from the Zotac Cup and it's game one of three. So I'm really looking forward to it. It is ZVZ. So basically if you play Zerg, prepare to be thrilled and entertained by the magnificence you're about to witness. If you don't play Zerg, prepare to sit there in awe of the stress every Zerg player goes through when you're at that loading screen and it's like, this is a ZVZ and you're just like, oh my god, I'm going to have this massive stressful moment of Zerglings v Banelings and it's just going to be like, oh the micro, and if one little misclip I die. And that's literally how you feel as Zerg against Zerg. All game, every game, that at any moment they could have just decided to build stupid amounts of Zerglings and you will just lose. Shanzi is going for that 10 Overlord with the Extractor trick and if it's better or not, who knows, it works out about the same in my opinion. I give my Overlord at 9 rather than 10 just because I, while it looks fancy doing the Extractor trick, it takes some energy and effort and the amount of energy and effort you put into ZBZ after that point, just, it's not worth it in my opinion. But that is all beside the point. Anyway, the map Daybreak, let's talk a little about this. There is the Supply Depot there, not that either player could wall off. It's got a long rush distance, that's the important thing to note. That it'll take ages for Slowlings to get over, so not too much to worry about. Spawning pool down at 14, therefore Slavic. Shanzi hasn't got a spawning pool yet, probably going hatch first just because he's got 300 minerals and has put down the hatchery now. So that was a 15 hatch compared to a 14 pool. No gas though. So I I reckon we'll see an expansion out of Slavic relatively soon. Shanzi keeping a drone over there just to keep an eye out for if that hatchery does come out because if it doesn't, he needs to go and scout and be like, hey guys, what are you doing? Are you going to try and come and kill me? Because if you do, I need to panic now. But that's all good because so far, we do have just some blocking going on and Shanzi, you're being irritating to poor Slavic right now. Shanzi is getting up that extractor and pull and another great block on the hatchery. This is just so good work by Shanzi. I mean, this is a considerable time blocking that expansion, like really quite considerable. And that is just only going to play to his advantage because already you will see here that, well, it's up to over a minute ahead right now of his own expansion. There, finally, the hatchery gets down the scouting drone for Shanzi. We'll see everything going down. We'll see the gas coming down. But of course, the gas already up. It was gas then pool. And um, basically, that gas is mining its way away for Shanzi. The important thing we need to look out for here is whether all three drones stay in the gas after 100, whether one comes out or whether they all come out. Each mean a different thing. If all three gas guys stay in, that means it is like super super bailing play if two stay and he's like i want to get bailings eventually if all come out it's like i just want zergling speed and that is really a good thing to note and since only one left in it's basically like i want bailings somewhere in the future may as well just leave one in here but for the moment we do have these four zerglings on their way over no queen yet just three drones the drones are probably going to die I, I don't know how to tell you this guys but one already dead the second one dead this is brilliant for Slavic right now because he's now on equal workers that drone is trying to get away as best it can and for just four zerglings that's not too bad killing off those two drones it does mean that it was lava efficient which is something that you should always think about early game as a zerg player and well can he get that third drone, that'd be a big, big win, but no ghost with the extractor. It's pretty interesting to see whether that extractor strays or not. The queen is just fighting, 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 but missing the jet because of that. That's a bit of a problem, and there is the cans on the extractor, so he does not want two up right now. Both players do have speed on the way. The speed's so far ahead, though, for Shanzi right now. But the injects are slightly more ahead 19 to 19 harvesters, exactly on equal, but Slavic is about to get five. All at once, that puts him quite heavily ahead right now. Slavic also getting up his baning nest a little earlier, but Shanzi is getting up an awful lot of Zerglings. What is he doing? Was this a fake expansion into just mass speedling? If it was, it will be brilliant, assuming that baning nest does not come down does not finish and does not allow Slavic to get Banelings up in order to defend it because that's all you need, 22 Zerglings on the way, speed is done. Slavic, Slavic, if you scout this, you're going to be like willing that baiting less to finish and of course that overlord will see it right now. Slavic's response should be I need to build Zerglings. Lots and lots of Zerglings. That is exactly what he's doing. He's also doing a great thing here. The two queens at the ramp just creating the wall off, preventing that mass speedling from getting in anywhere. The baiting nest is of course now finished and it'll be interesting to see what Shanzi decides to do right now. 
with that with all of these Zerglings because of course he can keep trying to push up but one queen goes down but of course the bailings are morphing and once those bailings finish it'll be bad times and actually with the rest of the Zerglings managed to complete a full, pull, full wall off. God I can't get my words out tonight and well that's going to be irritating. One Zergling will try and get a bailing. A bailing for a Zergling is a good win. Uh, a bailing for anything more than about two Zerglings is a good win for the bailing player. But this is all pretty intense right now. This is good control though for the moment out of both players. They're trying to engage cost effectively. Find that little choke and there is the final bailing down. Who has more Zerglings right now? The moment it is Shanzi. Shanzi behind this is droning up though. Exactly the right thing to do. But sh uh, we do see Slavic also droning. And that is the right thing to do as well. Because you can see there's no additional units being added on here. And that his opponent is probably droning behind. What is the drone count like? 34 to 36 in Slavic's favour, but only tiny, tiny amounts. The Roach Warren is on its way down, so transition out of the Ling Bling phase very, very quickly there for Shanzi. He didn't actually ever enter the Bailing phase of this game. He was just like, no, I want Roaches. He's already got the plus one missile attacks on their way out. And, well, he can now start putting on some pressure. The overall placement for both players, pretty good. An Overlord on the high ground there. Could put an Overlord back here just to keep an eye out on drone counts and things like that. Because, of course, looking how many drones your opponent has can be very, very helpful in ZBZ because... Basically, it lets you know whether they are going for units or drones, what you essentially need to know. Now, of course, the drone count is yet again exactly on equal, but Chansey has got nine roaches on the way, and of course, there is just a handful of Zerglings coming out, and if they spot the roaches, that'll be a big win, and it looks like they're going to, because the roaches are just finishing up now. A handful of roaches come out. I don't know if it was seen, but even if it was, it was only a couple, so doesn't know the full extent of the roach basically movement out of his opponent. Shanzi is getting an awful lot of roaches. This is going to be a roach push timed up with that plus one missile attack with three spine crawlers on the way with the additional one already down. Clearly Slavic knows something is up involving roaches and spine crawlers are the best way to defend against that with quite a few zerglings as well. The plus one missile attack also on the way out for Slavic. It's only fractionally behind, not by much at all and he does have a lot of roaches on the way and with the spine crawlers he is going to be absolutely fine. That front evolution chamber could get picked off though. The overlords have of course seen everything, know exactly what's coming down. And Shanzi getting quite a few zerglings behind this. Of course with speed they'll be able to catch up quite easily. And will hopefully be able to put on some pressure. But two banings already out, two more banings on the way out for Slavic as well now. So that'll take him up to four of those roaches. They're going to have to do good damage. Need to get good attack arc. And well... Here we go, we're going to get quite a bit of baiting from both these players right now. That evolution chamber, if it was sniped, would be a very big loss at this stage because, of course, the plus one missile attack has just finished for Shanzi right now, who's trying to get a good little attack angle, pick off a couple of those spine crawlers. Need to be careful, the rest of those banings detonating everywhere. And, well, the plus one missile attack is going to be so close to finish if he just focuses that evolution chamber. It'd be so, so good for him. Zerglings are attacking the spine crawlers right now, and Shanzi is looking to have a lot of momentum on this push. He has way more roaches in his opponent's place. But the plus one missile attack has now finished for both players, so the upgrades are equal at last. So this stream of Zerglings could cause the problem because there are no other Zerglings on the field for Slavic right now, which means no bailings. And Shanzi is just doing very, very nicely. A lot of drones getting pinned up in the corner. Those spine crawlers getting taken down as well. And well, the moment you see drones getting pulled, you know things aren't going well. But actually, Sansi is only one drone ahead right now because he's invested so much in this push. Need to be careful, quite a few Zerglings on their way. And if Zerglings do surround Roaches, they engage very, very effectively. The Queen's getting taken down. That is an important thing to see because obviously that means no injects at all. And the injects are actually a very important macro mechanic for Zergers, I'm sure everybody who's ever seen StarCraft will be aware of. But these Zerglings, they are still picking up quite a few units. They're getting in and around everywhere. How many workers have been killed in total? 11 by Sansi right now, who is starting to pull ahead at last in terms of the work done but still just pumping roaches behind his own lair finished he's getting up the plus two missile attack as well as the road speed road speed coming out for both players will finish sooner for slavic though but i mean the fact you're behind in workers even if it is only by what is that three it still matters and of course the lack of injects is really what is going to hurt him and is going to hurt him so badly now the plus two missile attack won't be out for quite a long time but of course the lair is finished for Slavic at the moment, but he's not using it for anything other than getting the roach speed. There's a plus two missile attack, and we've got a bit of a counter push coming in here, but so many roaches down there at the moment. Shanzi just pumping roaches. He could do with just a handful more workers, because again, he's getting behind. And in terms of the roach count, it's 24 to 9. Now, if a lot of Zerglings do follow this up, which I expect to see, obviously that would be very, very potent. I mean, the reason you want to throw a handful of Zerglings in is purely because if it's roach v roach, literally about 10, 15 Zerglings, 
can really disrupt the AI because the roaches will attack and obviously roaches with a very slow attack speed if they do if the Zergling soak up a couple of volleys of fire it can be very very strong indeed now that evolution chamber could get focused down very quickly or perhaps we will see Shanzi just go straight for the drones and that looks like his aim of choice is picking off drones as best he can the Bailing's trying to engage the evolution chamber stays up now falls that means the upgraded one is definitely going Shanzi's favor and that is the GG right there and game one goes to Shanzi with the crazy aggression all the way through so that was game one guys thumbs up like subscribe and then see you at game two any second bye for now